Hey guys, welcome to the 10th C-Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you some mathematical operators. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button, and once you have it on your form, just go ahead and double click on it. Alright, so the first mathematical operator that we're going to be looking at is just addition, so adding two numbers together. So we're just going to go ahead right here and create two integers. I'm going to say int a equals um, 5 and int b equals 3. All right, so the first uh, operator that I said we were looking at was just addition. So we're just going to um, display in a message box a plus b or 5 plus 3. So we're just going to say message box dot show and then we're just going to do a plus b and then we're just going to convert that into a string. All right, so let me explain this right here. So basically what I did is put a plus b in parentheses so that what it will do is it will first add a and b and then convert the sum of a and b into a string. So it'll add 5 and 3 right here and then just convert 8 into a string, which is the sum of a and b. All right, so we should just get 8 inside of a message box. Yep, perfect. All right, and for um, subtraction, you're just going to want to do a little dash. So now it's a minus b, and we should get 2 in a message box since a represents 5 and b represents 3. So 5 minus 3 is 2, and yep, we get 2. And you don't have to do just two integers or two variables. You could do like a minus like 4 right here, and then we get 1 since uh, a represents 5 and 4 minus 5 is 1. Yep, perfect. For multiplication, you're just going to want to do an asterisk. So right here we're doing a times 4, and a represents 5, so we're going to get 20 in a message box. Yep, and you could multiply a and b, so a times b uh, should be 15, since 5 times 3 is 15. And yep, we get 15. And you could do division as well. And for division, you're just going to want to do a slash. So now it's a divided by b, so um, 5 divided by 3, and we're going to actually make these even numbers, so I'm just going to do like 6 divided by b, and we should get 2, since 6 divided by 3 is 2, and yep, and we could just do two regular numbers, so if you wanted to do like 12 divided by 2, then we should just get 6, since 12 divided by 2 is 6, yep, perfect. Alright, so that's really all there is for mathematical operators. Now we're going to get into something else. Alright, so what if we just wanted to add um, like 3 or 4, if we wanted to add 4 to this integer right here. Well, what we could do is we could say a equals a plus 4. But there's a way easier way to do this. What we could do is we could just do a plus equals 4. And doing a plus equals 4 is the exact same thing as doing a equals a plus 4. So what it's going to do is just add 4 to a. And since a is 5 right now, it's just going to add 4 to 5, and we should just get 9. So let's just display um, a in a message box. So we're just going to do message box dot show, and then a, we just have to convert that into a string. So we're just going to do dot to string right there. And now we should get 9 in a message box because a... Um, initially equals 5, and then we're just adding 4 to A. So we should just get uh, 9 in the message box. Yep, perfect. Alright, and you can do minus equals as well. So what this will do is it will just subtract 4 from A. So since A is 5, it'll just subtract 4 from A, and or 4 from 5, and we should just get 1 in the message box. Yep. You can do multiplication as well. So if we can do uh, a times equals 4, so we'll just multiply a times 4 and then set that equal to a. So we should just get 20 in a message box. Yep. All right. And there's division equals as well. So we can just do, um, let's actually set uh, a equal to 20. So it'll do 20 divided by 4 and then store the result in a. So since 20 divided by 4 is 5, we should get 5 in the message box. Yep, perfect. All right, and let me just show you one last thing here. What if we wanted to just add 1 to a? Well, we could do a plus equals 1. Oops, we could just do a plus equals 1, but there's a much easier way of doing even this. We can just do a plus plus, 
and a plus plus will basically just increment a by one. So no matter what a is, it will just add one to it. And a is 20, so it'll just add one to 20, and then store that value in a. So we should get 21 in a message box. Yep. And you can do decrement as well. So we can just do minus minus right there, and that'll just subtract one from a. So we should get 19 in message box since 20 minus 1 is 19. And yep. All right. And there's one other thing you can do with this. So you could put the minus minus before a. And what that will do is it will just do this first. So if you had other things on, on this line right here, like if you were to do um, minus minus a and then convert that into a string, we would get 19 in a message box because what it will do right here is it'll just do this first and then it will convert it into a string. So we should get 19 in a message box. Yep. But if we were to put the minus minus after it, it will actually do that after it's uh, done showing the message box. So we're going to get 20 in a message box because it did that last. And same goes for plus plus. So if we were to just do plus plus after it, then it'll do it after this line is being executed or done being executed. So we're going to get 20 in a message box still, yep. But if we were to put the two pluses before the A, then it will do that first and we should get 21 in a message box. So it'll add one to uh, A and then it will convert it into a string. Yep, perfect. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.